Hey, I'm Myers. Uh, yesterday I got test pressing of uh, band from Valencia, Spain uh, is uh, pressing a record with my company, Sue. Um, so the band is called Sonic Angels. Uh, the way I would describe them is uh, kind of like an asterisk-ish uh, garage noise uh, fuzz b band with some psychedelic like um, Estrus found all these fucking great bands back in the 90s and they ranged from surf bands uh, you know like Man or Astro Man to you know like uh, just like garagey you know sort of beat uh Bands a lot like the Mummies. Uh, I mean, the Mummies were fucking great in the '90s. Uh, you know, there were all these great fucking bands on Estrus Records. Uh, you know, ranging the, the, this wide range of surf, psychedelic, uh, garage beats. Uh, you know, uh, sort of. Uh, stuff that uh, was just amazing. So, Sonic Angels, this is a test pressing. Um, this is not the finished product by any means. You know, it's just plain black, uh, white label, uh, where the finished product is going to be white vinyl with the Sioux center label and um, silk screen jacket. And uh, so, anyways, uh, get the test pressing here play you guys a song off of it but uh yeah this band i don't know how i stumbled across them um but uh i, I was talking to them on christmas day uh about you know hey i dig your band i'd like to work with you uh they called me uh and that's a great thing like through facebook they they, they made a call through facebook so there's no international fucking charges or anything like that but they called me Christmas Day and uh, talking to them about, you know, doing this or whatever. And, uh, you know, um, shit from Spain. Um, I, I just uh, We were talking about Spanish stuff the other day. Uh, you know, uh, Spain is a weird, weird place for music. Um, ten or so years ago... Uh, I don't know, it was a long fucking time ago. I got contacted, uh, I got an email from a uh, guy who said he's in a uh, rockabilly band from Valencia, Spain, and he wanted to come play my town. And I didn't know what to think of it. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, I had a show booked that night, and I used to book a lot of rockabilly shows because rockabilly's safe. You know, like... Um, People from 7 to 70 love rockabilly music, and uh, I've never had, you know, um, well, I did. Uh, when I did have some violence at a fucking rockabilly show, but rockabilly shows, you run into a lot less drunken buffoonery and, uh, you know, that tough guy shit that you get at punk and hardcore shows. You know, like, I, at this point in my life, there's no fucking way I'd want to be booking hardcore shows because I don't want to deal with fucking you know, breaking up fights of, you know, knuckleheads or whatever. And, uh, you know, but, uh, anyways, uh, rockabilly is relatively safe. I used to book a lot of rockabilly shows. And, uh, that night they were asking about, I had a show booked with the after darks from uh, the quad cities. And, uh, if you guys have ever watched American pickers, Danny off of American pickers, she's always wearing after darks t-shirts the After Darks played her wedding reception, um, you know, and they're they're a great fucking band, you know. So, uh, you know, I didn't know what to think of this email from this dude from Spain about being in a rockabilly band or whatever. And uh, but I walked in the club that night, and these three guys uh, from Spain were there, and um, and uh, charming charming fucking guys that love beating them and uh and w the opener was my old friend Thad Sand um Thad Sand's one man band uh he uh you know 
does it all with old Dan Electro uh, and uh, or Silvertone amp and keys guitar or something like that, <laughs> and uh, hitting a kick drum and uh, using a pedal to play a snare drum and uh, but anyways uh, he opened and then this Spanish band went on stage and just fucking I mean I got goosebumps from it. Um, they played Bobby Day's Little Bitty Pretty One, and it got the whole crowd humming along. Mm, 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 and everybody's clapping along. And, and they roll into, you know, that first verse. Little Bitty Pretty One. And the fucking crowd just went insane. It was such, <laughs> it was a perfect moment. And, you know, I, 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 right now I'm talking about it. I got fucking goosebumps talking about it. I mean, all the hair on my arm standing up. Um, because it was just one of those magical moments, and uh, you know, and as great as the After Darks are, and they are a great band, but they they struggled following Cat Club that night. You know, I mean, uh, I hate to say it, but you know, the Cat Club just uh, blew them off the stage, and that, that was like really my first introduction to um, what's going on over in Spain. You know, and I always do, you know, like in the nineties, like. Uh, you know, there was like Monster Records out of Spain. Spain would, you know, um, do shit with a lot of uh, bands I'm into or whatever. And, you know, and it was for me coming out of Sioux City, Iowa was always kind of a struggle, like getting that shit, you know, importing uh, Monster Records or finding a record shop that would import it or whatever. You know, um, it was a lot easier for me to get the Crypt stuff, which I don't, I mean, Crypt is from Hamburg, Germany, but, you know, they had distribution through more damn records uh, here, here in the States, or I, I don't know what kind of distribution, if any, uh, that Monster had, you know, so getting shit off of Monster was a lot harder, um, and there were some other Spanish records, uh, labels, I mean, I, I got a Devil Dogs record from a Spanish label, uh, got two titles to it. One is the greatest rock and roll record you'll never hear, and uh, then the other one is Live at the Revolver Club. And uh, you know that's off us, of, but you know um, Meet and Cat Club ten or twelve years ago. I can't remember how long ago it was. Um, they really opened my mind to what's going on over there, and not just rockabilly, but you know um, all kinds of shit. So. You know, I stumbled across Sonic Angels here, and um, great fucking band. You know, I'm excited to be working with them. You know, I know one cat. Uh, I just mentioned him, Thad Sand. You know, uh, one of my better friends. Uh, I've known Thad for 35 years, but uh, you know, I, I know he's going to be excited about this album because this is right in his fucking wheelhouse. That Thad loves that. Uh, you know raw fucking you know I mean Thad um, always love like flat duo jets and uh, those sort of bands that have that you know raw just you know let's do it sort of uh, you know sensibility of it so super excited about this um, if you dig these videos like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, coming soon on Sue uh, we're going to have Sonic Angels from Valencia, Spain. Um, so, you know, um, and well, my buddy Johnny Casino, um, you know, uh, he's from Australia, but he lives over there in Spain. And, uh, you know, so, hey, if you're ever needing a tattoo in Spain, go see Johnny, man. He's a uh, great fucking cat, you know. Um, I love that motherfucker. So, uh, you know, John, uh, uh, my connection with Johnny is... Uh, been pretty good and uh you know so i uh you know and the other thing is i do uh, i put out these records and i work with these bands because i, I, I truly love the music I, I love these bands and um you know uh, for a lot of you you will have never heard of the sonic angels and a lot of you know um i'm sure a lot of you still won't buy the record or whatever but you know at least you know I, I'm I'm doing what I can to propel their uh, existence into your psyche. So you know, uh, I mean, if you are into this sort of estrus, sort of flat duo jets, uh, you know, like lowbrow, uh, you know, sonic beat, psychedelic sort of flavor, you know, um, 
here's another band you might flip your lid. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching.